A righteous and an educated man lived in the land of Canaan called Bal'am bin Ba'ura. What to do? The land has completely dried up. How are we going to eat all year, Dad? I do not know, O Kasbi. Listen, O Sur. We have no choice but to seek help from our monk. Balaam, he spends his time in his hermitage all the time and does not occupy himself with any of the worldly matters. He doesn't even care about hunger or thirst. Yes, he only thinks of prayer and knowledge. Stop mocking the man. Do not forget that he is one of the righteous and his prayers are answered. Is it true that he knows the greatest name of God? I don't know. What's important is that he helps us get rain and prevent drought. Oh, Mr. Balaam! Oh, Mr. Balaam! What is this? Dogs barking, donkeys praying, and people shouting. How could a scholar like me study the secrets of science? What secrets, Mr. Balaam? I want to understand why the fruits fall downwards and not upwards. Speak to me, Balaam. The land is dry as you see. This is true, because there is no rain. I wish you would pray to your Lord to bring down rains on our crop. We will reward you with fruit baskets. It's not Balaam. Who thinks about food, man? I will only pray to God to have mercy on you because of your young. Oh Lord, we pray to you as you commanded us. So answer us as you promised us. Oh God, help us and send down a downpour from the sky on us. The rain, the rain came. came. That's, great. That's great. Thanks, Thanks to Balaam's God. God. Abundant rain. The harvest will be plentiful this year. Praise be to you, Lord, and thanks be to you. Where are you going, Balaam? Sun has set. This is the time for my solitude and prayer. وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ أُجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّاعِ إِذَا دَعَانِ فَلْيَسْتَجِيبُوا لِي وَلْيُؤْمِنُوا بِي لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْشُدُونَ the family of Canaan has mandated all of us to ask you to help us against the people of Moses. We are in great danger, Mr. Bala. What danger? What harms you about people who encamp on the borders of your land and will not harm you in anything? They are definitely preparing for war. Who confirmed this to you? Why did they choose our land in particular? Unless they mean us evil. Be brief. I want to be alone for my worship. What do you want from me? We want you to destroy them with your good prayers. Are you crazy, sir? I pray against the prophet of God and who believed with him? You are praying to save your family and clan. Woe to you! It is the prophet of God, Moses, and with him the angels and the believers. We will reward you with a hundred camels. Are you back to bargaining, man? He didn't mean it, Balaam. Balaam? Balaam without master? Come on, get out of my face. Get out and don't come back again. I have a great idea. It's going to change things completely. What are all these crowds of people? We all came to you to take an oath to rid us of our enemies in exchange of choosing you as our prince. Prince? Am I the prince? Yes, you will be our ruler and benefactor. You will have our status and prestige. Hmm. 
We won't do anything without your blessing. Hmm. We swear allegiance and obedience to you. What do you say, O oh, master of the people and their chief? Do not call me the chief of the people or their master. I like humility. Just call me a scholar. We have not heard your opinion, Mr. Balam, a great scholar. <laughs> Will you pray against Moses and his people? O oh, people, O oh, followers of Balaam and his subjects, as long as this is the desire of all of you, I will pray against Moses and his people to perish. It's a moment of glory for me. From today, I will follow you and walk in your footsteps, Mr. Balaam. Balaam decided to pray against the prophet of God, Moses, and whoever believed with him. So he made his way to Mount Hosbeth, riding on his donkey, and his people from the Canaanites were waiting for what would happen. Come on, lazy! What's wrong with you, donkey? Are you knocking me to the ground? You deserve nothing but a stick! Who to you, Balaam? Where are you going? Hmm, the donkey speaks. This is strange. The real strange thing is what you intend to do. And what do you have to do with what I do? Don't you see the angels in front of me turning me away from my destination? Angels turn you away. Why? Don't you know? Are you really going to the prophet of God and the believers to pray against them? Yes, I will. And don't try to interfere in my life again. I am free. I am free. Free. Here is their word for the mistake. Take it! Take it! Take it! Balaam has arrived! Balaam has arrived! Hooray! Balaam, you have arrived at last! Silence! Do not disturb the Mr. Balaam. Please pray. Oh God. Oh. Oh, 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 God, F for the sake of your greatest name, destroy, uh, d d d destroy my people. Mr. Balaam. Oh, God, help, God help, God help the believers from the people of Moses. Do you know what you are doing, Mr. Balaam? You are praying for them while praying against us. Hmm, hmm, L leave me be now. What did you do, man? This is something that God has overcome, and God has power over his affairs. I saw the Canaanites on the mountain looking at us. So what? They are definitely planning to harm us. Think well of them, as the prophet of God Moses teaches us. How do we think well of people who are hostile to us? We are not sure that they are hostile to us, as you say. And God protect us, Zamri. Did he not part the sea for us and save us from Pharaoh and Haman and their soldiers? Enough. I am tired of repeating the story of this miracle. What's going on in your head, son? We are strong people, and we can attack them as a precaution for ourselves. We will not attack anyone except by order of the Prophet of God, Moses. Let's end this useless debate. Man kafar billahi min ba'd imanihi illa man ukriha wa qalbuhu mutma'innun bil imani walakin man sharah bil kufri sadaran fa'alayhim ghadabun min Allahi wa lahum azabun azim ذلك بأنه مستحب الحياة الدنيا على الآخرة وأن الله لا يهدي القوم الكافرين أولئك الذين طبع الله على قلوبهم وسمعهم وأبصارهم وأولئك هم الغافلون لا جرم أن لهم في الآخرة هم الخاسرون